Hello, my name is Charlie Ryan. I'm the Managing Director of the Recruitment Queen. And today I'm talking to all students who are eligible for our Bridge the Gap programme. So there are two things I'd like to explain. I'd like to explain what it is, and I'd also like to explain what you can get from it. So first of all, what is it? Well, it is a live recruitment process for all students to undertake, although there isn't a real job at the end of it. Now, I know you might question the value in that, but let me explain. So what we're looking for you to do as a student going through this Bridge the Gap is to apply for a job, undertake a telephone interview, undertake a face-to-face -face interview with a local employer at their premises. And that way you get feedback at all the different stages along the way. And the whole point of this is that what we have discovered over the last few years is that there is a big gap between what a student or a young person going for a job thinks an employer expects and what they actually expect. So we're trying to bridge that gap of understanding so you know what to expect and what employers expect. And then it's down to you whether or not you come up to that expectation. But if you want to secure an opportunity in the long term, you'll know what you need to do. And I think that's the biggest thing here. We're not saying do this, do that, but we are saying it's your choice. At least if you understand what an employer expects, you can decide whether or not you want to do it or not. And then you can face the consequences of that. So either securing a job or not at a later date. There are no live jobs at the end of this. It is very important you understand that it is the process that is delivering the experience as opposed to the job itself. The only thing I would say is, as a result of the programme run um, nearly two years ago, six students were offered work experience and short-term placements within the company that they did go and see. So the other thing that is worth understanding is that you will create contacts now for life in some of these companies who you just never know in the future might be able to help you secure an opportunity. What you can expect from the programme is once, as you go through all the stages in this programme, you can expect feedback at the various stages. So you understand where in a real life situation you would have succeeded to the next stage or not. And more importantly, what you would need to do if you were undertaking that where there was a real life job at the end of it. You can hold on to that feedback. You can share that people with feedback with anybody, nobody entirely up to you. This is for your learning only. The one thing we do want to get across as well, it is important that you are inspired to do this for you. It is a process. There will be deadlines. There are things to complete and undertake. So it is important that we, we don't want to make you do this. The school doesn't want to make you do this. And we don't want parents to make you do this. We want you to feel that you want to do it because of the learning it's going to give you across the board. Now, more importantly, we've got a wide range of companies that we're working with on this program. So I think what's also important is that when you're looking at these job opportunities, start to evaluate what it is you believe you're good at. And the more we start to do things that we're good at in the workplace, the more likely we are to succeed at them. So do you enjoy talking a lot? Do you enjoy writing a lot? Do you enjoy being highly organized? Start having a look at the jobs that you can choose and then start to decide the ones that will be absolutely right for you. And I think that's one of the most important things we're trying to get across here. Employers, they want you to be the best that you can be. But sometimes the journey to show them that, there isn't always that understanding of what's expected. And this is your opportunity to understand that. Now, we talked about the live face-to-face -face interview and that is happening in March. And we are looking to educate a couple of other things during this process for you. We're looking to educate resourcefulness and we're looking to educate communication. You cannot over communicate in a process like this. So check, check and check again. That's very, very important. Even when you're making your way to the interview, have you done the journey the week before? These are the sorts of things that we're looking to help you understand. Doesn't matter. It does not matter if you don't do everything. The whole point is the learning. But I do want to say to you, communication is the name of the game in the workplace, even when you're securing a job. So if anything changes or you need to check something, make sure you get that email sent or you make that quick phone call. 
because over communicating is just it's not something that can happen you can't over communicate everybody would rather know what was going on especially if something changes so even if, if it's a slight doubt in your mind do I need to let somebody know let them know OK, whether that's the school or us or the company that you're going to. And you'll have all the um, various information um, pieces to do that. And resourcefulness. So one of the things um, we're looking for as well is if there is a possibility of you making your own way to the company, then that would be brilliant. Now, at the end of the day, we know that this isn't always possible. And if you do need a lift, then again, we're looking for you to be in control of that lift. So have you told your parents or whoever's giving you a lift there, how long it's going to take to get there, what time you need to be there at, what time you're going to leave. Is there parking for them to pull up? So again, your resourcefulness, this is about you. It's not about somebody else doing it for you. Okay. So um, I will leave all of those thoughts with you. Um, I look forward to engaging with you because I'm sure at various points throughout the process, I will be, uh, certainly my team will be. And I want you to enjoy it and get the most from it. So if you do have any questions, the Recruitment Queen email address, everything is on the website that you'll be using as your tool of communication. All right. But please enjoy it. Please use it to help you secure that job, even if it is in four or five years time. And for some of you, it'll be a lot, a lot closer. And like I say, start building the contacts now for when you might need them. Because employers, they want to be helpful to you. They really do. You are our students and our employees of the future. So we want to do everything that we can to make you the best that you can be. We want it for you. So I'm hoping you want it for yourself. So I will leave that with you. Your school will take um, you through to the next stage for those of you that do want to move forward. But please bear in mind, this is down to you. I look forward to seeing you all soon because I'm sure I'll get to engage with you on an ongoing basis. Thank you very much for your time today and the best of luck, but most importantly, enjoy the process. My name is Charlie Ryan and I'm the Recruitment Queen. Thank you. Bye-bye.